Hello, everyone. D. Alfred Ostrowski here. In this recording, I'm going to be giving a extremely quick demo on the installation and execution of Tiny Llama. I'll be doing it from the Python command prompt. And as usual, I'll be running it on an Amazon EC2 instance. I will also be following my commands directly from my GitHub that's posted below. So let's get started. I already have my Amazon interface up and running. And you, if you are not familiar with Amazon, you'll want to go through the process of obtaining an account and getting some familiarity with the interface as well as being able to connect with it. I'll be following in pretty much similar examples I've done with Ethereum blockchain using a C5 instance. But in this case, I'm doing it slightly differently, which has motivated me to step through this particular process so you don't miss one step in my implementation to get this to work. So I'm using Ubuntu as usual, and I'm using Ubuntu Server 2204 is what it's going to be set to. I'm getting a little more resources here by going to C5 large, and you can experiment with more or less. Now I'm not implementing this, leveraging in the GPU resources. So that makes it unique among a lot of localized LLM implementations. Specify, specify my key pair here. And then I'm also going to be add, adding additional disk space. I'm gonna use 20 gig and that's about it. And I can get it up and running and start the installation process. And as advertised, I'm only going to need 13 commands to both do the installation and get the library up and running and be able to test our queries. So let me refresh this. And hopefully, I should have my IP address that I can log into my session here. Grab my public IP and now I'm going to bring up a party session. Again, you can use any type of client that you're interested in. Here we go. Or my key. And I'm going to bump up the font here. I'm loosely following the medium.com article that describes this process. However, they have a web-based interface, and I stripped it down just to get the bare essential minimums of being able to query the small LLM from our command prompt, Python command prompt. So I'm into my instance. I'm going to first do sudo app get update. And that's going to prepare me for the further installations of software here. That complete fast because I'm using a C5 instance, of course, and it's done. So now I'm going to install Python pip and default the installation as I usually do. Now I don't even need to clone out the Tiny Llama GitHub, the associated torch library and supportive libraries are going to help with the downstream the installation and pulling down the associated LLM. Now I'm gonna install the Hugging Face Transformers library. And this is supportive of being able to implement the LLM in the context of the Python and Torch model. And this looks install pretty quickly. And again, for brevity, I'm omitting a lot of the functionality of these modules as well as PyTorch. So I'm assuming that you have some level of familiarity with LLMs, PyTorch, and the associated libraries that support this implementation. The next library I'm going to install is the Python Torch 
and some of its supported libraries. And then I'll be done with my pip installs and I can enter in the Python prompt. Now I'm loosely following the medium.com article as I mentioned, and actually they recommend in some cases going to different instances or other resources online also suggests using EC2 instances that have direct GPU support. I decided not to leverage these just in the interest of efficiency and cost. And that's a big reasoning for even using a small LLM to begin with. But I think it's very important to have a cost-effective way to be able to compare these against the OpenAPI ChatGPT4 interface and all the other competing LLMs at this point. And this should complete in a few seconds. And I pause out, but again, this installation is relatively fast. I'm trying to go end and end in about 15 plus minutes. Let's wait on it. Still waiting. And we have successful installation. Now we're going to install the Python Torch. And after this completes, which it just did, we can now enter into Python. And Python is standard with Ubuntu, as I'm sure most of you are already aware. Of. And I have to do the Python 3 to enter into the library. So again, cut pasting all my commands, they are readily available for you. And hopefully you can follow through in just the same amount of time that it is taking me to make this video. So import torch, and now I'm going to import the pipeline. So we got 1.1 billion parameters. They have 7 billion associated with the meta base models and up to 70 billion, I believe, or more. And so this is an interesting comparison, especially if you have these models already up and running to see exactly what type of advantages am I getting or disadvantages between the two models and be able to evaluate the cost savings to see if it's worthwhile perhaps to consider a smaller LLM. In this case, it's a great starting point if you don't have any prior exposure. If you're someone nature to me, you're just trying to incorporate LLMs into a number of your applications, and you want to start out with the lowest possible cost to do the appropriate experimentation and see exactly what's getting for you. So here it's going to download the model, which it just did when I invoke the pipeline. Now, this is only going to, to download it once, and it's going to put it in a cache directory. And if you want a better understanding exactly where it was placed, because it's not in the base directory and I didn't build a project directory for this, I have an article from Stack that gives you a little bit more insight as to where to find the exact information for your knowledge. So now I can set up my query. So essentially I can ask anything, right? So I'm going to just set up a basic query to asking for a joke and we can test our model this way. So I set up the query and then I have a message template and let me cut paste that in here as well. Next, I'm gonna build my prompt. I'm gonna invoke the pipe tokenizer library and pass in the appropriate message. Whoops. Put an extra character in my cut paste. So, let me just clear that up and I set my prompt appropriately. So now we can do the actual query and assign it to outputs. It's not lightning fast, but again, this is a completely self-contained LLM at relatively little cost. You could do a local installation as well, and it may be running faster if you use GPU-based resources. But here, it's a nice way, as usual, 
that I like to do as leveraging Amazon EC2 as a nice means of technology transfer. So let's say if we can get the output from this. And from here, you can go anywhere, right? You use this as a building block or build in a web application as suggested in the article. And that is posted in my associated references. So let's look at outputs and see if we got the appropriate outfit, output. So do politicians do when they're not in the House of Commons they go on a vacation? And so there you go. Uh, they gave you back a joke and you could go and put in any number of prompts and run it through kind of all. Um, so that's all I have for today. I hope this helps. We're able to start from scratch, invoke an instance. We installed all the necessary software and supporting libraries, including PyTorch and the Hugging Face associated APIs that works with it. Download Tiny Llama and go into Python prompt and get it up and running. Okay, you can build this into any other application or do your testing and compare against larger models and see what it gets for you. So again, all everything is documented on my GitHub. And I hope this helps to try to get generate more content in this area, along with my blockchain content that I've been primarily concentrating on. So thanks again for listening. Like and subscribe. Take care. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye now.